Okay, we're going to go and uh, try these lures again. Right, we're about to head out and uh, do some rod fishing. We've got a little bit of bait with us. We've got the lures, so we're going to go and fish. See what we can catch. No particular target, so I'm just going to try some some bream, gurnard, bass, anything really. Just on the way out the bay, we're going to um, lift these pots up through some and take them back out we've got two singles here we're going to just join them up so now we only baited this yesterday so hasn't been out that long you see it will get lobster now because we're going to move it out and it will leave you that dilemma ah should we put it out or should we just leave them here i know how that goes Here it comes, and it's here. Yeah, well, we're moving it. <laughs> okay. And it's here. Mind you, that one should be the anchor pot, really. So. Hey, it's got a lobster in it. And that'll be size as well. Here we go. Got a lobster. Nice! Little bonus there for the morning. Right, we've got to work out how we're going to do this because these ropes are all running around. That's a long rope, you reckon? In that one. That's it. We are just going to check our pot that we put out here. We've only got the one pot out here, or in this position. So we thought we'd have a quick look at it. We only baited it yesterday. We only found it after it got washed, washed up with the big storms. Well, not washed up, but moved. So we just plunked it here for the heck of it. Random drop, random spot. No particular reason why I put it here, just because it's where I dropped it after we moved it. It's pretty open here, so hoping for a brown crab here maybe. But I think I might be a bit hopeful. I'm not really expecting anything to be honest. But you never know. We'll see. very heavy pot this one it's just an open D pot there's no traps or anything in it it's just straightforward pot they still catch really well it's here might be something dark in there definitely looks like there might be something dark oh it's an eel oh and a lobster well, there you go. There you go. Let's get this lobster out before the eel starts crashing around. We've got one lobster and one big eel, one little brown crab and one spider crab. So one of it each today. But that's what we're here for. I think that size. I'll have to check it after. I'll put it down there for now. And then brown crab, just a small one. And then I'll get him out as well before. One spider crab. And one eel, which we will get out. Let's see if I can put the camera in there. There you go. One eel. Probably about, what do you reckon that is? Eight to ten pound? Possibly, uh... yeah. Something around there. Oh, probably gone over the camera. About an eight to ten pound eel. That was a lot more than I thought we were going to catch, to be honest. Yeah. We only threw it here yesterday because we, like I say, just needed to drop it somewhere. We thought, oh, we'll just chuck it here. 
if you take the tail out like Rebecca's doing, you should, he, sh he will at some point go backwards. If you've got the tail out the entrance, he'll come out the hole. Coax him out. Is he gonna go? Hold on. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. One eel on the floor. That lobster is just a tiny bit under, so we'll put her back. And away it goes. I've got to say, these lures are insane, insanely good. And I'm very critical of lures as well. There's a lot of rubbish out on the market, but these, these are really good. Here we go again. Oh, look at that. That's a better one, look at that. There you go. Much better fish. It's probably uh, nearer to the 50 mark, that one. And that was on the Arctic Assassin as well. Just trying with the white lure, it's a bit, it's a bit beat up, but I was using the yellow one, but I noticed they were following it a bit, I'm not taking it, they're a little bit fickle today, so I sort of tried to go more with a more of a natural colour, and uh, it's caught one straight away, it's only small, but let's see if we can get another one. That doesn't help though when it does that. It's, that's what I mean, it's getting a bit worn out now. It's had too many fish on it, you see. Damaged it. And the constant casting, of course. Go for a minute. There we go. It was on the uh, Arctic Assassin. Torn the tail a bit now, though. Nice one there. Another fish. I think. Although, I could be wrong. There is a drop right under us now. Either way, if we've got one down the edge, I'll be happy because that's where you're going to get the lobster if they're here. Here it comes, here it comes, and it's here. Got it. And it's got one, and it's a nice one. And there's a little tiny one over there. Right, put you down. It's still raining, so. Oh, I've got a door on this pot. Yeah. Look at that. Door pot. There we go. One nice lobster. And a little baby one. And a beauty in there. And a dogfish. That's a nice one in there. Has it got both claws? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. 
Not thinking. Yep. Still that success. That was pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah, I got him. Right, he's going. He's gone. And now for the lobster. The one we've all been waiting for. Well, I have. Look at that. Only got a little claw, but still a nice lobster. Nice one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That worked out right. Yeah. Yeah. 